Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're out in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Carlisle events, and they've got their Chrysler Nationals going on. And with that, I met Mike. Mike, what's your last name? McCandless. Mike McCandless. And I'm going to grab the camera right off the bat. Mike, now what kind of car, look right at me for a second. Yes, sir. What kind of car do you have here today? A uh, 1958 DeSoto Fire Dome Convertible. Now, why this car? Well, I mean, just look at it. It's incredibly <laughs> rare. Uh, there's only two that are restored that are known to two. exist. Two, yeah, there's 10 worldwide that are known. They made 500 originally. A lot of them have been destroyed. Uh, this is done in a spruce green, willow green combination. And it's just got dramatic styling, amazing tail lights, and a lot of cool features. Step right next to me yeah. here. And let's take a look at the side of this car. The side of this, well, the whole car. I mean, there's not like a side. And the sun comes out just in time for this one. <laughs> but this car has a presence and you drive these yes absolutely every car in the collection gets driven if you don't drive these cars they start to leak and cause all types of problems they don't want to start it's just it's a real headache and the fire dome there were different models correct yes we had a fire dome fire sweet fire flight and adventure which would be your, your top of the line so this sort of set the mid-range uh, of the cars but they have lots of really cool features with the dramatic styling in the back and if you notice the exhaust comes out of the rear bumper that's wonderful Lots of cool accessories would come on the cars, like you, you see the bars coming down on the trunk, which was actually a 57 option that got put onto this 58, because it just looks too good. It really does, and look at the tail lights. Dual rear antennas. Dual antennas, I just noticed that as well. Can we open this trunk? Yeah, absolutely. And it's a push button. Yeah, there we are. And that's... A very large trunk. A large <laughs> trunk, and amazing, because this trunk we just went back in time. It's all the way back in that time frame. I mean, it's amazing. And this car has obviously won a Grand National trophy. Yep, yep. Grand National first place uh, in 2014, and then a National first place in 2004. Let's shut that, let's go. Yep. I'm actually gonna go to the front of the car before we go to the interior. So let me go to the front of the car. You know, DeSoto did some really cool stuff. You'll see how the, a lot of the letters are done in gold and some of the trim is done in gold, which is really characteristic of a lot of the cars. More, more so on the Adventures, a lot of people recognize it on those, but they did it on the other models as well. This is about a 15-year-old restoration, so it's got some, some wear on it. It still shows really, really, really well. It's amazing. I like that. There's a bug. That's awesome. <laughs> That's what happens when you drop. That is awesome. All right. We have evidence that it's driven. That is great. Because it, it looks brand new. Let's open the door. Yeah, Even the door handle is like jewelry. Yeah. Absolutely. The interior looks like a wonderful parade with the different colors. And here's your tag. We've got our pedals. What's this pedal for? Is that the emergency brake? Uh, yes. Okay. And here's your brake yeah, so handle. This is where you end up pulling on the brake uh, up there. So once again, similar to the other cars, uh, push button steering, you have no park. So you put it in neutral and then pull the uh, emergency brake up there. So hold that. And let's look at these seats. You can actually look at these seats from the back. I'm going to keep the yep. open step. Yep. We're gonna, and look at the way this seat splits there. That's a big half split. fire dome in the center. You see the attention to detail and to the dash, you can see all the little emblems you know, running all the way through. Really, really, really fine details. You have the clock all the way on the far side, which would have been an option as well. Really common in the 50s to have clocks as options. Car companies put them all over the place, it's really cool. What is, and this is your heater down here? Correct. Okay, and an ashtray with the heater. Yeah, needless to say, uh, Nothing's going to end up being uh, smoked in anything. Right, so. yeah. <laughs> well, the car is smoking enough. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Yeah, absolutely. The sun's hitting it just right as we start to look under the hood. Yep. Yeah. So stand right next to it for a second. Yeah, sure, absolutely. How tall are you? Uh, I am six foot. Six foot, <laughs> and that hood is way over yeah. your head. Okay, all right. At 361 power plant, very similar to uh, a lot of the cars at the time that Mopar was making. As you can see, attention to detail, I have the original washer bag fluid and all that stuff, but the car does get driven. So 
Uh, you know, it has the, this is a four bolt valve cover, uh, which is notorious for leaking. So that's one of the reasons to drive them is to you know, try to keep that from happening. They ended up coming out later with six bolt. Uh, they still leaked. So. <laughs> right. so it still didn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's beep the horn and let's start her up. All right. Yeah, it wasn't much of a power horn. <laughs> no, all right, that wasn't what I was expecting, but that's okay. Wow, is that quiet? Yes, absolutely. It's a luxury car. It is a luxury car. second. Oh, that's a great sound. That's a great sound. All right, let's uh, shut that off. That's a great sound at idle. Oh, yeah, it is. You can just sit at the parking park, you know, <laughs> just sit at the park, parking light or the uh, stoplight and just wait for a while. Let's shut that hood. Yep. We'll have you stand right next to it. Mike. Yes, sir. Another one of your amazing cars. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Really a treat to have you on my car store. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. I appreciate you for having me. Thank you.